The need for the Nigeria justice system to be alive and active in the interest of the citizenry was the crux of the deliberation by guests at the Ministry of Justice in Abuja during the public presentation of the book, When Justice Sleeps. At the event, the author, Barrister Matthew Keke, stated that the book was a product of investigation into the Nigeria justice system to gauge compliance with the law. Citivis Anastasia Atema now completes the report. It was a gathering of lawyers, students, traditional leaders and other judicial officers. They are here at the Obasanjo Auditorium of the Federal Ministry of Justice, Abuja, for the presentation of the book, When Justice Sleeps. Senator Zahir Mustafa, the chairman of the occasion, in his remarks, expressed concern about the new cliché, go to court, stating that it is an affront on the ju justice system of Nigeria. Recently, there was go to court, you know, it's common. That's why I believe it was go to court, do whatever you want. In the process, it has been used in recent times. I just to become a tool of operation from those issued advice. I gladly admit that and acknowledge the blatant, enormous lack of justice in the general judicial system, which says justice is The recent play concluded in 2023 in the election, where from politicians moved to our own involved. I am officials desperately supported the third process, committed all manner of impunity against the third process to be declared winners. While asking opponents to vote for our judiciary may no longer be the last of the common one. That is it. Just as soon to be available only to the higher and mighty in our society. Otherwise, how common has been where cases involving political aid and one of the individuals are always given priority over and above those affecting the reality of the common one, when ordinary citizens cannot afford the cost of education. He added that the book was a chronicle of the judicial system of Nigeria from colonial time to a modern democracy. This book examines our judicial journey from pre colonial era to colonial and post colonial era. They also basically address the common judicial system after the present democratic dispensation with a view to pointing out where we need. Various guests took turn to congratulate the author and express the light that the book is coming out at a time like this in the national life. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are making Okita people proud. This is justice for them and us. If the right thing is being done in this country, my brother, all of us will be asleep in peace. We will go what is impossible. They say, what, whatever that God and not do does not exist. The book reviewer, Professor Maxwell Gudado San, who was represented by Professor Elijah Oluwa Toyin, in his review acknowledged the research efforts of the author and how it will help to improve the judicial system in Nigeria. It is not the function of the judge to research the latest developments in the law. There are institutions that should collaborate with the courts and with the judicial system and with the justice system in getting some of these things done. And you see some of that in chapter 2 of the book. Again, when we talk about justice and justice sleeping, we think that the soporific elements that have been administered to justice that are making justice sleep is by the courts and by the lawyers and the judges and the registrars, but the book is bringing it to our attention that even citizens have a role to play in waking justice up in this country. You see that also in chapter 2 of the book. So if you just read chapters 1 and 2 alone of the book, you are thoroughly enriched. But the book doesn't stop here. The book goes on to chapter 10. Secretary General of Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria, Reverend Father Zakaria Samjumi, and his remarks commended the author for
for his courage to speak out when justice in Nigeria is sleeping. That the person who is talking about this has enormous courage to talk about these things that we see sleeping and there are for so many things going bad. It's just one small aspect of it. But for him to have the courage to speak it out, I think that is what is all needed from all of us. So it is not just simply the monetary aspect of it, but we want this book to go far and wide. So that uh, as Nigerians, we need to wake up. We are asleep. We are sleeping. And therefore, justice is safe. High point of the event was the presentation of the book. When Justice Sleeps. The author and some of the guests at the event spoke to CTV News. Uh, when you talk of failure of justice or justice, people just concentrate on the court. It's not only the court. Police is actually the first port of call when you talk of administration of criminal justice. There are many institutions along the line and it will appear that all these institutions they are not responding to the needs of the people. Well, justice as I came as a far I know is the presence of fairness and uh, being just when things are done without partiality. When justice sleeps, we are awake. And when uh, justice is awake, we go to sleep. Thank God for the expository that, was, um, that we're launching today, which is When Justice Sleeps. So that is a book that I recommended for all the team players in the industry. In Abuja, Anastasia Tema, CCV News.